How many already see you worshiping in that place? Amen. Hmm? Close your eyes. Okay. Now you have a vision. You've envisioned of something happening. But in order for the vision to make come to pass, para que se cumpla la visión, everybody say we gotta have provision. <laughs> a lot of people, hey man. Ooh, I see myself in that big old house with the swimming pool. I'm sure that that works. That's right. And I need some filet mignon with some taro beans. And then you open your eyes and you come back to reality. And all everybody say, vision without action is only a dream. Visión sin acción solamente es un sueño. ¿Mm? Hay mucha gente que tiene visión. ¿Mm? Brother Sal was telling me about the lacrosse yesterday. I don't know what that has to do with this, Sister Connie, but he was telling me something about the lacrosse. Hallelujah. And, 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 and understand this, when you envision something, you, you see that. You see it before you even have it. And when you see it, glory to God, you're not, everybody say, I'm not coveting it. I'm not lusting after it, but I, God knows the desires of my heart. Amen. Yes, yes. My God. Now, now, look at number two. I like the second word, a manifestation. Hallelujah. What does the word manifestation mean? Something that was imagining an imagination now has come a reality. A manifestation is something that play comes into play. Something that becomes reality. Look, a manifestation to the sense of something in material. Hallelujah. So what does that mean, Pastor? That when I have this vision, I'm going to make provision for my vision. Say, I'm going to make provision for my vision. Mm, 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 mm. And I'm not only talking about the things of God. That's like we're talking to Chris, and and and, 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 and I was telling him. I said, he said, he said. So, Pastor, I don't know what brought it up. And and, and, and uh, I said, man, he said, uh, I said, there's two more things, Joe, that, that I'm pursuing. I said, there's two more things that I'm pursuing, and, and, and then 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 I'm gonna tell the devil to shut up. And, and, and I said, number one, I said. Uh, Next month, I said, I, 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 and I've been shouting Jeremy for about two months, I'm going to become a Navy SEAL, but on a jet boat. Number two, the devil stole my RV. And I'm going to get another one just to show him. Amen. How great is my God. See you with me, how great. Is my God, and all the world will see how great, how great is my God. Now, you ain't hearing me, church. But see, I can talk about it, sister. Well, he talked about it. he had a motorcycle. He was going to get a motorcycle. He talked about it. He talked about it. He talked about it. Well, go look at my garage. Because something that was immaterial, now I have the manifestation of what I was believing for, Joe, and it's sitting in the garage. Bubba came over last night. He said, Dad, are you even writing this thing? I said, when I want. He said, what do you mean by that? I said, because it's mine. And even if I don't touch it, it's in my garage. And whenever I want to get on it, I get on it because it's mine. Oh, you ain't hearing me. Jacob got happy now. Amen. <laughs> a manifestation of the sense of something in material. Understand this. Una manifestación de de un sentido de algo inmaterial. Cuando algo, oígame, hermano, estás creyendo por algo que 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 todavía no lo tienes en tu mano. Y estás creyendo y luego cuando Dios se manifiesta y esa cosa en cual estás creyendo ahora es una realidad es la manifestación de la cosa que usted estaba creyendo ahora es una realidad. Everybody say reality is only a manifestation of my faith. Glory to God. My God, you should have shouted on that one. Now you see why I get paid to do this stuff. 
then I want you to understand something. Because there's people that are, Man, you know what, brother? I really don't believe this kind of gospel. If you didn't, quit your job. Don't ever, don't ever deal with money again. Hmm? What do you mean, brother? Just live by faith. Just live by faith. But one of the things that we got to realize, church, that in order for God to make provision, everybody say He's going to do it through me. Joe, when 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 when, when, when a customer comes in and wants to buy a car. And you ask them for a job and they say, I don't have one. Do you have money? I don't have any. Do you have credit? I don't have any. So what are you riding on? Faith. God will provide. <laughs> and and what, 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 do, do they, do, what, what do you do, Joe? You say, automatically approved. Go get whatever you want. King Ranch, whatever you want. After, just get it. Because until I found out that you were operating on faith, Does anybody understand what I'm saying to this morning? Hallelujah. But I told I was telling I was telling Chris. I said when Bubba bought his his Malibu, uh, uh, he went he Bubba was just starting out a couple of years ago to get credit and everywhere that he was going, he kept calling me, he said, Dad, everybody's telling me, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. He said, they see me coming and they don't even let me look, they just say, uh-uh. <laughs> And I made a phone call to a friend of mine, and I was telling Chris that uh, th that friend of mine said, hey, "Let me have a social security number and, and, and his date of birth." He said, "I'll call you back in a little bit." I said, "Okay." So I gave him the social security number, and, 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 and about 15 minutes later, he called. He said, "Hey, tell Bubba that tomorrow by 10 o'clock in the morning, UPS is going to deliver him an open check." He said, "Open check." He said, "Yeah, I got a approved through a company that's sending him an open check." He said, "When you go to shop." He said, just look around and tell him you're paying cash. He said, how does that work? He said, just tell Bob if you don't get the check by 10 o'clock in the morning through UPS to call me, and, and I'll see what the problem is. So about 10 o'clock next morning, Bob already said, they know and everything. He had hair back then. He had all the kids dressed, and they're waiting for the UPS truck. And Joe UPS shows up, and sure enough, brought him a certified Letter, he opens it, he calls me and said, Dad, there really is a check in here. And it's just an open check. He said, what do I do with it? So I said, let, let me call Lee. So I called Lee. I said, what does he do with this check? He said, go shop it. He said, go, go find the car that he wants. So when we were headed over there, Joe, we went over to Pioneer. And we were headed over there. And I told Bubba, when they look at you and say, uh-uh. I said, you look at the salesman and tell him, uh-uh, get out of here. Now, now, what are you trying to say, Pastor? That something turned. And when we went out there, Joe, now we know that he's been approved. He, he's, got, he's got the money to pay for what the car that he wants. And, 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 and you know what? Something changed, Sister Connie. His attitude changed. Because now he has the upper hand. He has provision for his vision. 